I mean, there's a certain lukewarm thing in here right now. But when you look back on, on Trump numbers at this point, they were really negative. And um, these are not negative numbers. Hi there, it's WAMC News Director Ian Pickus. And on this episode of the WAMC News Podcast, I speak with Tim Malloy, the polling analyst with the Quinnipiac University Poll. In the newest poll released in late May, a majority of Republicans said they would like to see former President Trump run for president in 2024, but two-thirds of Americans do not want to see him run. A similar breakdown when it comes to the question of whether Joe Biden's victory in November was legitimate, 66% of Republicans say no. 64% of Americans say yes. For more, I spoke with Quinnipiac University polling analyst Tim Malloy. What it says is what it's been saying is that it's still, you know, the, the reports of President, former President Trump's demise are exaggerated. It's GOP support remains solid. Two-thirds think the election was taken from him. Two-thirds want him to run again. If that doesn't happen, 85 percent of Republicans want someone with the same philosophy to replicate his policies and run. So it does say um, Donald Trump's still around. And this certainly would be fodder for Trump, who has made it very clear that he wants to at least be discussed as a 2024 candidate. It would be. Uh, You know, the flip side, of course, is that two thirds of all Americans do not want to see him run. But yes, this is what he wants and wanted, obviously. He, he wants to stay in the present, and he's still around. In terms of overall voters, do people see Joe Biden as the legitimately elected president? Yeah, they do. Uh, I don't have the number in front of me, but it's, it's a solid number. He's got almost a 50 percent approval rating, too. So it, those are numbers that uh, Donald Trump never saw. So, yeah, Biden is, you know, he's not uh, he's not lighting up the town, so to speak, but he's considered uh, solid uh, economy. He gets approval ratings on that. And his, his, his numbers generally are pretty good. Um, back to the Republicans for a second. I know every state has its own primary setup and its own rules. But if if you're a, a candidate for president and two thirds of the party that you're running in says they want you to run, you're in pretty good shape to win some primaries, aren't you? It would seem, uh, you know, you just don't know with Trump, though, uh, you know, there's a, there's a body of belief that the, the governor of, of Florida is, is the favorite in this, if you really sat down with Republicans. Governor DeSantis, yeah. It, yeah, DeSantis. And, you know, who, who's making uh, – he's not saying no when he's asked about this. He's not ruling it out. So the big question is, would Trump let that happen, or would he become a target of Trump? And, and that's a – boy, that's a big question. Actually, I live in Florida, so there's a lot of talk about this down here. Take us in. I mean, what's what's the uh, political mood like in Florida right now? It seems from at least where I'm sitting in New York that Governor DeSantis is riding high. Uh, he will claim that they did a better job in Florida than than any other state with regard to COVID. And he, he can make a, a decent argument about that. The, the counter argument may be that it's the most outside, outdoor state in the nation. And uh, so people were less apt to be crowded together. But uh, he is uh, fairly uh, popular in Florida and growing in national uh, prestige and, and name. And uh, a lot of the wealthy folks down here are having fundraisers for him now, uh, quietly. So he is the, he's the guy at the moment. What is it about Florida? Every election, uh, we hear a lot about how Democrats are going to win statewide. They're going to win for governor. They're going to flip the state blue for president. Uh, they've had so many close shaves and close calls, but it seems like the Republicans are always able to win by that point or two. I don't know that the pollsters, and I'm going to admit this, uh, have polled well in florida we're we're going to we're going to change things my understanding is uh, there's a huge uh, growing latin population who are not necessarily democrat it's not just miami cubans anymore so that's part of it it's a incredibly fast growing state a lot of people being down from the northeast and from the midwest so it's a it's a complicated soup of a state which uh, is hard to read it just is i mean we'll we'll heavily poll here again And, I mean, it's always going to be one of the key states to win uh, on a presidential cycle, that's for sure. It's the state. I mean, it turns out it's generally the state. (laughs) Not just, I mean, you know, there were a lot of reasons why Trump didn't win, but, uh, you know, he looked pretty good down here. Yeah, so let's get back to President Biden for a second. You said he has a decent approval rating right now. Um, He's certainly reaching levels that President Trump struggled to reach before. What are voters saying about how he's doing in this poll? 
Yeah, let me give it to you. Uh, he's a 49% uh, favorable, which isn't bad. Uh, foreign policy, there he's not doing great. It's 39% approved, 44 not. Gun policy, 34 approved, 49 not. The economy's got a 48% approval rating, 43% disapproved. On taxes, 45 approved, 43%. These are not knocking it out of the park numbers, but they're not incredibly negative. Um, 21% say Biden's doing a better job than expected. 24% say he's worse job. 52% say he's doing about what they expected. I mean, there's a certain lukewarm thing in here right now. But when you look back on, on Trump numbers at this point, they were really negative. And um, these are not negative numbers, not, not really. I mean, he's, he's doing well on, on favorability, and, and which is the – favorability meaning just about everything about the guy <laughs> rather than approval. I mean, in other words, you like to have lunch with him. I think he's a good person. Is he surround himself with good people? It's a big, broad umbrella of, a, of a, a, a favorability. But he, he's generally doing okay. Granted that we're pretty far out right now, uh, it's obvious the Republicans are desperate to retake uh, Congress in the next cycle. Uh, they're down by the barest of margins in the Senate and uh, just a little more than that in the House. Based on where President Biden is right now, you know, are the Republicans looking good for a comeback in the midterms or is it too early to say? Well, they're getting a negative 25 percent approval rating as opposed to 64 percent disapproval. Um, Democrats have a highly, uh, slightly higher rate. These are not great numbers, 43% for 47 disapproved. So right now, the, the party as itself still appears in, in disarray. Six in 10 Americans say Republican Party is moving in the wrong direction. Um, so it's hard to say. And you're right, it, it's early, but everybody's gearing up for this. And uh, there's a hell of a lot at stake for the Democrats here, whether they can hang on to the House. Um you know, the one uh, solid card Biden has, I didn't mention it, is he he's gets great numbers on uh, how he handled COVID. And that's winding down, but that's probably helping him with his numbers right now. And I mean, as we look back, that was really what he, you know, what he based his campaign on was uh, competence to end the pandemic. So he might he yeah. might be able to you know point to that in a few months. Yeah, and you, and one of the reasons Trump's not president is because he, he you know in the minds of an awful lot of people he botched the whole thing. That's not I'm not saying that's the case necessarily, but that is you know the prevailing opinion certainly, and even on the other side of the aisle, even on his own side of the aisle. So yeah, I mean COVID was a huge player in all this, and probably continues to be. I don't know if you can extrapolate from this particular poll, but. Uh, after what happened in, in January and all of the political turmoil that we have seen uh, over the past year or so, what are people thinking about Congress in general? Congress always gets a negative rate. I mean, you know, it, I don't have uh, the, the um, back pages from, for the last five years, but if you look at them, there's never been a really high approval rating for any the House or Senate. Uh, I think general politicians right now are probably at their lowest ebb as far as popularity and trust. Um, there's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, crazy town stuff going on these days too, you know, uh, not to mention names. So I don't know that, uh, either side is acquitting themselves real well. The Republicans right now have some problems with certain members who are, they're having to call out on their own and say, you got to knock this off. So if you're asking me, is, 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 is the, the state of, mind of American people, you know, have great trust and and belief in the leadership in the House and Senate. I don't think they do. I mean, the numbers don't say they do not. That's Tim Malloy, Quinnipiac University polling analyst. Uh, Tim, always great to catch up with you. And uh, thanks for taking a few minutes for us. Anytime, Ian. Good luck. All right. That does it for this episode of the WAMC News Podcast. Thanks so much for listening. Until next time, I'm Ian Pickus.